Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, today we'll be playing a budget uh, version of Celestia Enchantments. So basically, we won't be running any uh, Katildas, Kamis, or Weavers uh, of Harmony. Um, instead, the game plan here is to play our cheap enchantment creatures. So Jukai Naturalist, Spirit Companion, and Fang of Shigeki. Um, and they basically pump them up using Generous Visitor, Audacity, and Chico's Reign of Truth. We actually run a decent amount of uh, interaction as well. Uh, so we run four ossific ossifications, uh, four circle of confinements, and then four touch and spirit realms. Um, that way we can remove any threats uh, that the opponent puts on the board. Um, and then we have a decent mid game as well. So if the board ever gets clogged up, we have this card here, Befriending the Moths, which gives one of our creatures plus one, plus one, um, and flying until end of turn. So um, this allows them to attack over uh, the opponent's board. Um, and this works especially well if we have a, a Machikos uh, in play, which uh, we could use to pump one of our creatures and, and give them flying until end of turn. Um, and then we have uh, this chalky 4-4 flyer that gets cheaper with each enchantment that we uh, control. So that's the game, uh, game plan there. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoy the games. Okay, so the tap lands are kind of awkward, but I'm going to invite Naturals into... Shiner's Visitor, so I think this is fine. So we'll play Tapland turn one, turn two, we'll play the other uh, planes. Alright, so I wonder if we're playing Mono Blue. Play this. This one consider. Yep. This is probably mono blue. So we'll probably keep up mana for either an impulse or a counter spell. So let's just tap for now and see if they do. I think what I should have done is actually uh, play the untap land for this reason. So had I done that, I think I would have been able to play both the... Actually, no. We only have one green mana, so uh, this is it. Double Fading Hope. Okay. Alright, well then that means next we get to pump our, uh, our naturals. All right. Let's see if they have a counter. So this will pump the visitor. I assume they have essence scatter or something. Yep. It's fine. So I think next turn, I assume they play a jit. No. They play a. So, how do we want to do this? So, we could actually remove the Terror, which might actually be worth it. So, there's two ways that we can play this. We can play the Ossification, get rid of the Terror. Uh, the Circle can find and still hit the Haughty Gems. Um, or, we can play for Predic Mods, give our Jonas Visitor a plus one, plus one token, plus another plus one, plus one, and, and flying. Let's actually go with the Ossification. Land, give itself plus one plus one. So we'll pay the board. See if they bounce it. Oh, they do not. So if they play a body gen next turn, we have. Two circles of confinement. Let's see. So four mana open means what? There's for knowledge, maybe? So they might have a counter, but we get the plus one plus one on the generous visitor. And this is their entire turn, so I'm actually going to take that. Sure. Alright, 
So if they play a Haughty Jin next turn, then we have two Circle of Confinements to basically take care of it. In case a person gets countered. So the opponent's digging. Like they look for a creature. Alright, so I can play Audacity. Give it plus one plus zero, and also give it um, another plus one plus one counter. I think I'm okay with that. Hopefully, they don't have a bounce spell. No attacks. So if it doesn't get bounced, that puts opponent on a two-turn clock. So they basically have to deal with the generous visitor. Um, or I'll stay in this next turn. So maybe a Haughty Jin. If they play another one, that's actually perfect. Because so then that means they're, uh... They're fully tapped out. Or close to it anyways. Alright, so how do we want to play this? So... We can remove both, actually. Uh, it cuts a play. So, I have to pay the ward for the Tularian Terror. So, we'll give this plus one plus one. We get to play the Circuit Confinement for one. The question is, do I... Let's see... And let's play this... Give them a plus one... Plus one. Down to one, they basically have to deal with all three of my creatures. Is anyone's lethal? Alright, it's game. So, not the fastest hand, but I think we keep this. We'll do a first turn better consider if they play a creature. And... So some sort of green deck. I don't think we mentioned those right into just yet. We should go and dive for one, and then next turn, if it plays with the board, we'll touch the spirit realm. If not, we'll play Machiko's Ring Truth. Alright. Not the most impactful creature, but. Helps clear the way a little bit and helps um, basically pop up uh, the range truth when we play it. Another great target for a touch of the spirit realm. So let's do this. Hmm. So I think what I might do is. I think I want to sequence it this way, so basically this allows me to add a plus one plus one counter and it allows me to give the center fly. And then it also adds more enchantments to the board, so when I do drop the Pachigos, it actually does um, pump up the visitor even more. Uh, if I hit a land next turn, I can actually play both the Touch of the Spirit Realm and the uh, Three of Truth. Alright, let's see what it gets. Four, four vigilance haste. Sure. Alright, perfect. Let's do the flying. Let's do this. Try to figure out how I want to do sequences. 
So what I could do is I could play the Samurai this turn and play the Spirit Realm and then Michiko's next turn because I get a little bit more out of it. Or I could play Touch of the Spirit Realm, pump for one, two, three. Which I don't think is enough, so I'm going to go ahead and play it this way. We give ourselves plus one, plus one, attack at five, and then I think next turn, uh, we spear realm one of their cards, and then when she goes afterwards, uh, our full flyer. Or not. Alright, so how do we want to do this? So, if they attack all, I'll probably Spirit Realm whatever they don't attack with. Oh, there. Stop res. Vigilance. Okay. What's going off with the ramp? So, I think we can win next turn. I'm just trying to figure out how we sequence this. So I'm actually kind of curious if I can target the, um, the transformed creatures. Because I think the... So we'll circle the confinements. I think we want to Let's see. Give this a plus one plus one. And I think either oh, I think we have to basically remove the, one of the two various numbers. What I'm kind of worried about is that if they have a second Lauren, they can destroy this and get the Topiary Stopper back. Alright, so I think what I'll do is I'll play this. Give this plus one, plus one, and then I think I want to get rid of one of their ramp. And then do I attack? I'm actually kind of fine with trading, I think. Actually, you know what? No attacks. Um, we'll save it for next turn for the Machinos, because then we get a plus one plus one counter if the uh, visitor's still around. Four, eight, ten, eleven. If they have a pump, that sucks. I feel like this is a safe block. And then this is also a safe block. It takes us down to 8. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. So as long as they don't destroy our flyer, I think we're in good shape. Not looking good here. I think what we could get that would help the things around. I don't think we need to get it here. So play this draw. Oh, interesting. Does this only affect creatures? 
Ah, uh, yep. So this would actually prevent Michiko Smart from as well. Yep, that's game. Alright, so this is probably not the best hand, um, but I could play Genesis to return one, and then two more Genesis to return two. If I hit a Flames, I can play Jukai Naturals turn two, so uh, move this a shot. Alright, so opponents on Naya. Maybe not with humans. Uh, okay. Uh, so looks like they're probably on domain. I'm gonna attack the tennis visitor and then play the other two visitors. Um, kind of hoping that we hit a plane soon because uh, that unlocks all four parts and. To be aggressive, uh, landline binding. Alright, perfect. Um, I play Jukai Naturalist, attack with both visitors, but I don't really want them to ramp, so I think I'm okay with actually playing Circle Confinements. I'll think each of the generous visitors, and then. I basically want to save the obfuscation for something a little bigger. So either a uh, larger creature or um, a planeswalker. So larger creature could be. I'm guessing you're playing being a Traxa here, so. I think they're trying to ramp up to playing like, 7 or 8 mana to play Traxa. Alright, so <clears throat> let's see, what did they what could they possibly have? Uh so I'm gonna play with Jukai Naturalist, I think that's all I can play this turn because I only have one play. Um, I'm gonna pump both Genesis Visitors and attack for six. Let's see if this one has anything. I think we'll have to be careful. In case a there's a play a wandering emperor, but I'm actually not sure if they run up. Interesting. All right, so perfect target for ossification. Um, invasion of Alara. Okay, so we definitely don't want them to flip that. Uh, I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna ossification, uh, get rid of their Thalia. Uh, and it looks like that's all we can do this turn. So we'll double pump the uh, naturalist so that all of her guys are back in. Next turn kind of depends on what they play, but uh, we're probably gonna. Hopefully, we hit a planes and we play both our Nathalys and uh, Plus, we get four plus one plus one tokens, which should be more than enough for lethal. Alright. Alright, this is a great hand. Uh, so, we have turn one visitor, turn two naturalists. Turn three, we could either play the removal or we can play the Michikos. Quite possibly both. Alright, so let's see what points on. So maybe Orzov life gain. It's 
go ahead and do this. Pump the Genesis Visitor. Attack. So the great thing is, next turn we can play one of the removals and also the, uh, the Rain of Truth. I'm kind of wondering whether it's worth... whether the, uh, the Traveling Minister is worth, um, one of the removal spells. I'm an interesting play. Kind of odd that he did it on their turn. Um, Alright, how do we want to maximize this? So, I don't think we played the Machiko Drain of Truth yet. Um, I think it's great that we draw Dacity. Because then, even though... Uh, even if they have a blocker next turn... We can basically... Attack him down. So, let's actually do this. Let's move the creature, and I changed my mind. I'm gonna play uh, Green of Truth. And attack for a casual turn. So, you know, they play something next turn, or this turn, we have Ossification. Um, and then we have the uh, Machino Punk. Double Punk, actually. So, in case they have instant speed removal, I'm going to put this on the Visitor. And that way, both of these creatures are lethal, so... No need two removal spells. Draw a card, and I think that's the game. Okay, so this definitely looks like a playable hand. We'll probably turn one visitor into turn two. Audacity, probably. This is gonna get a little bit of an extra pop from that. So opponent's probably on the domain plan. Let's see. Actually, you know what? Let me play the uh thing she I can This will get the plus one plus one counter from it. So if they play anything to the board, we have circle of confinement. Um, otherwise you probably should play Audacity. Maybe meet you for this. No, I don't think there's enough going on there. So it puts in the Genesis Visitor, the plus one plus one in the tank, Shigeki, and attack. So I think next turn we can. Let me just read the truth. doesn't win, and it's really out of the board. I think we win next turn. That's it. 